Section 6 Knowledge You Should Know Wine Classification with a particular attention to Italian wines. Since 2009, the wine can be classified into four categories according to the reform of the European Union. In fact, wine is now considered like any other food product. The final classifications common to all the member states of the European Union are Wine, Varietal Wine, PGI, BDO. In some countries, such as Italy, the European Directive has been applied with some variations. Wine This category, which is definitely generic, replaces the old appellation table wine. It can be produced using exclusively authorized grapes that must be reported on the label. There is no other specification and in many cases not even the year of harvest is reported. It is common, although optional, to report at least the color of the wine. This classification usually includes modest quality wines whose grapes can have very different backgrounds. However, there are also many high quality wines within this classification, which cannot obtain a more adequate one for the only reason that they do not follow any rules of production or because the grapes come from vineyards located in different regions, as in case of wineries across regional boundaries. Varietal wine this classification is quite new and very similar to the previous one. It is used to indicate the wines produced by at least 85% of a certain vine. For example, we will see on the label the name of the main grape used, such as Merlot, Sangiovese, Chardonnay. PGI – Protected Geographical Indication European laws demand for wine the use of the words Protected Geographical Indication as for any other food product. However, Italy has chosen to keep at the discretion of the producers uh, the official IGP classification but also the old one called IGT, in which the letter T instead of P means typical. In Valle the Italian region and in French-speaking countries of the European Union, this classification can be reported as Vin de Pays, which is the corresponding category in the French language while on um, PGI wines produced in Alto Adige Italian region or in any other German-speaking country, you can find the word Landwein. This category indicates the wines produced in a certain territory authorized by law, and in most cases in Italy it represents a certain region or a wide area inside the region, with the application of very general rules. Normally, this specific category guarantees a good minimum quality level and in many cases there are also very high quality wines with this appellation. This category, as well as the previous ones, are all very suitable for the testing of new grape blends to produce new wines, thanks to the absence of restrictive rules. PDO – Projected Designation of Origin to mention again the EU laws about matching wine to all other food products, the European Union provides a protected designation of origin classification. However, in Italy, for several reasons mainly related to tradition, it was decided to include on wine levels the letter DOP, but also to leave the producers the option of keeping the previous classification, that is DOC, in which the letter C means controlled. PDO refers to a particular territory to produce certain wines that is identified by law. It also considers the factors of typicality and territoriality of the wines produced in a particular area. In general, the production areas are quite narrow and they do not consider political boundaries. In fact, in Italy there are some PDO areas across two different regions, such as Lugana, that's between Lombardy and Veneto, and Adige, between Veneto and Trentino. The PTO category normally ensures a certain quality thanks to several severe checks and tests. It must undergo strict and disciplined laws, which if they are ignored, the wine would be automatically demoted to a lower level category. In Italy, there are over 300 PTO areas. DOCG – Designation of Controlled and Guaranteed Origin 
Through the denomination of controlled and guaranteed origin, abbreviated to DOCG, is an exclusive Italian classification and it represents for that country a tradition and an important milestone for the most prestigious wines. For the European law, it is part of the PDO class. This is a restricted area within a PDO which has acquired a special significance in the production area itself for historical, traditional and microclimatic reasons. The difference is so evident as to be recognized by a specific name. The DOCG wine bottles can never exceed the capacity of 5 liters and they are always accompanied by a ministerial band reporting the serial number of the bottle. For the production of DOCG wines, the producers must undergo very strict guidelines to guarantee throughout the years a very high quality level of product, identifying by detail even the vineyard of origin, where the grapes were harvested. Thanks to the growing quality of the wines produced in Italy, the number of DOCG wines are increasing and it's these wines that are surely the pride of the old Italian wine production. In addition to constant and strict controls by the competent authorities carried out by the Italian Ministry of Agriculture and Forest Policies, these wines also need a final taste test to obtain the ministerial band that will allow them to be sold with the DOCG appellation. For many wineries, the OCG represents a goal as well as the official recognition of the high quality of their hard work. In Italy, there are over 70 DOCG-defined areas. Accessory indications Many PDO wines may be accompanied by additional indications such as classic, superior and reserve, according to the official language of the wine producer. The term classic identifies a certain production area within the PDO itself that is more ancient, traditional and limited compared to the main PDO area. The term superior is added to those PDO wines which have a higher alcohol content to the one established by regulations. The term reserve is added to those PDO wines which have undergone a longer period of aging compared to the time laid down by regulations. How to read label A label is all we have to identify the content of the bottle before drinking the wine. It is important to know how to read all the relevant information. As a real passport, a label must provide all the necessary information and usually the more detailed they are, the more they can help you. Do not forget, however, that in addition to the beautiful verses that we often read on them, there is some legal information that must never be missing and obviously a higher classification must provide more information. Information on the label Name of producer Divino Sapere Name of the wine Gattinara Category Designation of controlled and guaranteed origin Vintage 2003 Location of the bottler City of Gattinara Country of manufacture Italy Container capacity 0.75 litres, container to EU standards, E logo, alcohol content by volume, 13.5%, contains sulphites. Cork. This is the cork we all have in our mind, the one made from real cork. However, nowadays you can find on the market various types of alternative closures. There are silicon corks, glass corks with plastic gasket, metal screw caps and even corks made by a compound mixture of various elements that make them look like real corks. It is essential to learn not to judge a wine by its cork, by the bottle or the label which may look more or less attractive. The wine must be judged after being opened and only inside the glass. However, just at the opening time, even the most appreciated and renowned cork may hold an unpleasant surprise. The cork is obtained from the cork oak. It is dried, boiled, then dried again, and then cut to finally become a wine cork. Unfortunately, as the cork is a natural product, it can be attacked by a microscopic fungus called Armillaria milia, also known as honey fungus. Immediately after the closure of the bottle, if the fungus is present, the wine will become contaminated. 
Sadly, it is not yet possible to identify the fungus before corking the bottles, and the wineries expect to have some bottles returned because they are corked. Very often, the real cork is required to comply with the production regulations of many PDO wines, and in many cases, it also has a vital role in the proper aging of the wine, and for that, it is sometimes irreplaceable. It should be noted, however, that generally the most expensive wines are also accompanied by very expensive corks, which are selected with care. In fact, at certain high quality levels, the fungus infections are reduced to only a very few bottles out of the yearly production. Cork is a very elastic material, but to maintain this characteristic it must be kept wet. In fact, it is necessary for the wine bottles to always lie horizontally. Recently, a new simple but effective product has been made to preserve the wine from Armillaria milia. It is a very thin film to stick under the cork before bottling, and it separates the cork from the wine, making it impossible to be contaminated. At the moment, this solution is not commonly used by the wineries. 